What's up, everybody? I'm Jeremy, and you're watching Warfels Morse. This week's video, folks, Clutch 4 and 5 are all shut out, so we're going to go through, show them off, confirm the IDs, confirm the sexes, all that good stuff. <laughs> so before we... <laughs> Hadley's with us, so uh, if you hear any little cute little voices of princesses, that's who, you know, that's where it's coming from. Before we get this week's video started, I need you guys to do me two favors, please. First of all, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit the like button, and drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this clutch. Uh, some of the stuff didn't turn out the way I'd wanted it to. Thanks, Hadley. And uh, yeah, but we did get some unique looking spider combos, or not spider combos, but some unique looking spiders. So kind of curious to see how those play out. Everything in these two clutches will be up for grabs. So keep that in mind if anybody's interested in them. Let me know in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram, email me, whatever. You guys know where to go for to hit me up. All my links are in the description down below, just like all the sponsors. Which is the next thing I need you guys to do. Go check out the sponsors of this week's episode, please. Make sure you check out Chris at BNS Reptilia. If you're looking for a ball python, boa, colubrid, blood python, he is the guy to go to. He's also a rat breeder on the eastern side of PA, and he is Pennsylvania's distributor of Coco to Go and the Chipper, which is by far the best cocoa substrate on the market today. So make sure you go ahead and check them out. Make sure you check out Nathan at Infinite Possible Pythons. He is your guy to go to if you want to get into the bang project. On top of it, he's working a bunch of awesome ball python projects. Kahua geckos, Lichianus geckos, crested geckos, some scaleless corn snakes, and he is your one-stop shop for all your branding needs. So check him out. Are you ready for a force to be reckoned with? Check out Triforce Morse. They've been in the game for 10 years, they're working in the Citron Clown Pied Project, along with Ghost Clowns, Ghost Pieds, the Matter Project, and Lace. That's right, folks. Lace. Everybody loves Lace. And to top it off, they're also working with Crested Geckos as well. So make sure you check out Triforce Morse. They are a force to be reckoned with. Are you ready to take it to the next level? Then check out DTMG Pythons. Danny is best known for his awesome clown ball python projects. This year's focus is Confusion, Hurricane, and Disco Inferno Clowns. He also specializes in high-end crested gecko morphs such as Exantic Lily White and Exantic Lily Whites, along with the Deadpool line of gargoyle geckos. Check out his morph market and Instagram, DTMG Pythons. Just buy it. Thank you, everybody, for sponsoring this week's episode. I greatly appreciate all the support. Let's dive in and get check out these clutches, or check out these hatchings, I should say, and uh, get them into their individual tubs. Now, originally, when we did the egg cutting, I thought we had hit some killer zebra bees. We struck out completely, but we did get some very beautiful killer bees. And remember, everything in this clutch is 66% Het Clown and Het TSK Exantic. So, 66% double Hets, folks. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous animals. I do love myself some killer bees. Again, just in case somebody does not know that, it is Super Pastel Spider. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful snake. Uh, we'll go through, let's just pop this one quick. And this is a little boy. There's the little peens. And, uh, Let's get some quick shots. Can I go with me? All right, so this is gonna be hatchling number one from Clutch Force. And this will be 0401M. The M is for male. Just that way I know. Remember, I put a snake there. We're gonna put that, and it lets me know that it's male as well. Next one up is we're gonna do the other killer bee. And this beautiful animal. Do you like this one? It's got this goofy little section here. It's kind of cool looking. Very beautiful animal. So gorgeous. We'll get a little bit of All 
right now i do believe this one is a female if i remember correctly i apologize for my wife making all the noise up above yeah this is a little girl so this will be 0402 f If you want to use the best reptile record keeping and tracking software on the market today, scan the QR code or click our partnership link in the description down below for a free 30-day trial of Husbandry Pro. I promise you, you will not regret it. All right, next up, we've got the spider combos. Now here, I'm just going to show you guys a comparison of the two still. There's still a very big difference between the two. This one has the paradoxing. This one's just different. Very unique looking spiders. Two totally different looking snakes. But let's start off with the paradoxed one first. We'll show off the paradoxing a little bit here. Like I said, I mean, this is just a very neat looking animal. If I would have to guess, I mean, to me, looking at it, that looks like Exanthic coming through. Possibly, who knows? I don't know. But, I mean, it's definitely got some gray tone to it with what's coming through. I think these are both males, if I'm not mistaken. male so a little male this will be 0403 m beautiful little dude next one up is the last spider and the last baby from clutch four Very beautiful animal. Like I said, these two spiders are very unique looking. Like there's just something weird with them. I think this one is a male as well. If I'm not mistaken. And if I could. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I was. What's that noise? The dryer. Ah, snake on the run, snake on the run. Maybe I was wrong. I thought this was a male. No, I think. It's a female. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I think this is a female. I'll double check. Every time every time we get a female, like I do double double check, triple check, all that good stuff. So we will check again. But this one's coming through as a female. I can't remember what we popped it as uh during the last video so uh we'll have to confirm it who knows maybe i'm just having an off day it's been a crazy day from work anyway but at the moment this will be 0404 f all right and last but not least now this is the baby the only baby from clutch number five five was our disaster clutch uh, the other hatchling that was all fused together and just terribly, terribly deformed. That one did pass naturally by itself before we even got to everybody, like before anybody even shed out or anything like that. Uh, I think it was actually like the next day from when we did the filming of the cleanup that uh, that one passed. So beautiful lesser. Pretty sure this is a male. Yep, male. Get some close ups real quick. Very nice looking male lesser. Put him back, and this will be 0501M. 
All right, that's going to be it, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's video. That's it for our uh, kind of just, you know, the post-shed check. Uh, hopefully, if you, any of you are interested in any of these hatchings, like I said before, they're all up for grabs, so hit me up for sure. Clutch 4 is all 66% double head Exantic Clown. Keep that in mind. A TSK Exantic uh, Clown. There could be a couple double heads in there. You just gotta go through and do the testing or i'm not gonna spend the money to have them tested i'll let that up to you the purchaser to do that but that's gonna be it for this week's episode folks make sure you guys go check out our sponsors of this week's episode please also check out husbandry pro click our affiliate link in the description down below free 30-day trial of the best reptile record keeping and tracking software on the market the other thing is also check out redline ship and use this code right here robin 60 60 off of two shipments Redline Shipping is the best shipping company out there, in my opinion. Also, they have the best prices, in my opinion, from what I've seen. So keep that in mind, and you don't sacrifice anything for those awesome prices. That's going to be it, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in this week, and I'll catch you later. Hadley, say bye to everybody. Say bye to everybody. Bye. See you, everybody.